Long before humanity learned to write, stories were told about spirits, demons, and things that lurk in the night. Similar stories are told today involving religious beliefs, extrasensory perception, auras, miracles, and ghosts, just to name a few. But can science prove or disprove the existence of these spectral entities? While science has made incredible strides in understanding the natural world, proving or disproving the existence of ghosts remains a complex challenge. On ghost hunting TV shows, people use scientific equipment to attempt to record or measure spirit activity. However, it's important to note that none of these offer conclusive evidence of ghosts. Some are hoaxes or misinterpretations of natural phenomena, while others capture signals that people don't expect. Scientists using reliable research methods have found zero evidence that ghosts exist. But what scientists have discovered are lots of reasons why people might feel they have had ghostly encounters. Not only are ghosts supposed to be able to do things that science says are impossible, such as turn invisible or pass through walls, but also scientists using reliable research methods have found zero evidence that ghosts exist. One scientific explanation for ghostly encounters is sleep paralysis. This condition leaves someone feeling awake but paralyzed, sometimes accompanied by hallucinations. Sleep paralysis is like dreaming with your eyes open. It occurs when the brain messes up the process of falling asleep or waking. In this state, one may see, hear, or feel figures or creatures that aren't really there. The uncertainty itself drives up our fear factor. Even quirks of architecture can trigger this primitive terror. When it comes to our habitats, Humans tend to think of places as safe when they offer two things, prospect, a clear view of the outside world, and refuge, the opportunity to hide from danger. A poorly lit old house gives us neither of those two accommodations, blocking our ability to see what's around the corner and providing plenty of shadows. Now, let's explore the psychological factors that play a role in people's belief in ghosts. The human mind is highly suggestible. We've evolved to take cues from the outside world to escape threats, and this suggestibility can make us see things that aren't there. Pareidolia, the phenomenon of seeing patterns or faces in random stimuli, can explain many supposed recordings of phantom voices. In unfamiliar and threatening environments, our survival instincts kick in. This can lead to heightened sensitivity and ghostly encounters. Inattentional blindness can also trick our perception. This occurs when we're so focused on one task that we miss other details, leading to ghostly misperceptions. Now, let's explore some other factors that might contribute to ghostly encounters. Mold and other pollutants often found in old buildings can affect mental well-being. The smell of rotting food can be mistaken for a sign of a phantom visit. Infrasound, frequencies below our hearing range, can affect our perception and lead to ghostly experiences. Some even call it the fear frequency. There's a theory that Earth's geomagnetic activity, influenced by outer space events, might mess with our brain's inner workings, causing perceptions of ghostly phenomena. Seizures in the temporal lobe of the brain can trigger ghost sightings. This brain area processes visual memory and language. Additionally, the use of psychoactive drugs like LSD can induce spiritual fantasies. Some people report ghostly encounters as a means of coping with trauma, especially the loss of a loved one. These encounters can provide comfort and a sense of connection to the departed. Just as most amputees report what's known as phantom limb, the feeling that their detached appendage is still there, surviving spouses frequently report seeing or sensing their departed partner. Also, the human desire to believe in haunted houses and vengeful spirits can influence our perception of ghostly encounters. Preconceived notions about ghosts, fueled by campfire tales and horror movies, can prime our minds to interpret ordinary occurrences as supernatural. Therefore, there is a complex interplay between human perception, cognition, and environmental influences in shaping our beliefs and experiences related to ghosts. So, where does this leave us with the age-old question, are ghosts real? The science suggests otherwise but our minds and environments can create experiences that feel hauntingly real. As we continue to explore the mysteries of the human mind and the environments we inhabit, the world of ghosts remains an enigmatic and enduring part of our collective imagination.
Don't forget to like this video and to subscribe to our channel. But, wait. What's that behind you?